Hello, uh, and welcome to Journeys in Transformation Analytics. Uh, I am Amarish Tripathi. I run the analytics business uh, for Genpact. Uh, and uh, in this series, a, a, a series of three that we normally do, uh, I have a wonderful, uh, a wonderful expert and, and, and a great partner joining me, Francisco Rulli, uh, who is the CEO and founder of uh, an a artificial intelligence company called Querlo. Uh, among other things, he's a partner at Forbes. And actually, probably the even most important or most, most fascinating thing that at least I find, he's the chief, chief digital officer of the Duomo at Florence. And we'll talk about all of that. Uh, Francesco, welcome. Thank you very much, Amarish. Yeah. Uh, Francesco, one of the things we've been chatting about uh, has been how is the role of consumption of data and insights? I mean, there's a lot of focus around how do you kind of go, go and do deep learning? How do you do fascinating work from organizing the data, put it on data lakes? Uh, we don't seem to talk a lot about how the, actually that data and information is consumed by the end users. And, 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 and what, what I really find about Querlo and you is you've spent a ton of time thinking about that. Uh, so do you want to talk a little bit about how is the information consumption has evolved over the years uh, as you've been in the space? Okay, so we, we launched our company back in 2015 for a social responsibility purpose to communicate and educate young women in Afghanistan. And we were in a different business. So we were, were in the film distribution business. Um, and, and then we found ourselves building extremely interesting chatbots and uh, starting actually working also for profit with organizations like banks, uh, pharmaceutical companies, and uh, to be frank with you, back in 2015, uh, most of our clients, and I don't want to make names, uh, uh, used our technology as a shiny object, as a communication tool to collect uh, information, but really not make uh, best use of the information. So a lot of those initial projects had a short life or a long build life and a short uh, remuneration, let's say. Yeah. So, you know, that was extremely frustrating. So we, we kind of like uh, realized that unless we find clients that have a, a very clear strategy and path on using the data, on developing advanced analytics, uh, dashboards that make sense, and also uh, the output of the data collected being tailored to their needs, it wasn't going to be a very good uh, business. Yes, you can make some money uh, fairly fast building a solution, but mm -hmm. then the solution will not last long because it's not being built for the right purpose. So today I have to say our goal is always to build a conversation artificial intelligence to provide the best uh, business intelligence or analytics uh, that a client can uh, uh, need. So the two things you told, uh, Francisco, was really interesting. Number one is you actually always saw this as a product. And not all analytics efforts are seen as, they're seen as more like projects rather than products. So that's really fascinating that you thought about, you have a very product mindset of I do it. And secondly, the other aspect of it, like from crystal reports dashboard to kind of Tableau dashboards, and we're talking about conversational AI. I mean, in some ways, kind of, you just said, okay, this is how conversational AI, and in some ways, because you came in with a different background and a perspective, you just went straight into how information is being used. Can you talk a little bit about, as you see these two trends, how is that, how is that going to evolve? Is it, is it going to be, are we going to see dashboards? Are we going to, or is it going to be all chatbots? How, how do you see the world of consumption of information evolve? Well, uh, uh, now our specific case, uh, we see uh, companies have uh, several enterprise solutions and they scatter their energy into implementing and educating employees uh, into using several different enterprise solutions. The chatbot should be, could be a unifying point of reference where each person within the company can both uh, access information as well as uh, deliver information. So uh, the same chatbot that, for example, allows HR to notify, uh, uh, let's say, to inform uh, the employees about their uh, leave time, to inform their employees about uh, uh, the new trainings, so everything related to HR, can also communicate with a marketing uh, platform 
so that the same employee, if they have a marketing event, can actually access uh, logos or policies, uh, best practices, and so on. So we are basically, as conversation artificial intelligence, using artificial intelligence for communication purpose and also to unify uh, the different platforms. Then each one of those platforms usually has its own dashboard. Each one of these platforms have its own complexity about accessing the data. So now the question is, uh, should I ask the executive to learn how to access uh, three, four, five, uh, seven different platforms, or we just combine all this data going into one chatbot that will deliver a unified, or at least uh, will, uh, will give them a portal into those dashboards information that is unified without the constant of going crazy about remembering how you do this and that and uh, how you match that. Okay. Um, you know, and COVID-19 has been, a, 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 you know, a very uh, a strong motivation for this to happen because now suddenly everybody has to work remotely. Right. And um, they, there is now really someone uh, in, within the department that can help you on something you forget. So providing this type of tools both to access and uh, to uh, the data, but also to provide uh, insights is very important. Lovely, lovely. So what, wonderful, great, great insights. I mean, the whole point around remote work and self-service of the capabilities of any of the, how you would think about information retrieval, but also about this, this fascinating vision that you have around all these different systems, the unifying, rather than unifying in the back end, just unifying in the front end with some of the, the chatbots. That's, that's, that's fabulous. We'll continue this conversation, uh, Francesco, as we move forward. But thank you so much uh, for uh, being with us today. Thank you very much. Very appreciated.